All right, man. <clears throat> I'm sorry I'm going to have to come on like this. Um, What was that YouTuber's name that used to come on here and be like, Say it ain't so. Say it ain't so, bro. Say it ain't so. All right, bro. Uh, I'm pretty sure just like everybody else, y'all woke up to the news just like I did too. Um, The Voice just got booked for a RICO charge. Murder for hire, bro. Um. For everyone that was saying he wasn't sliding for King Vaughn, apparently that nigga did fly for King Vaughn. It was just in a silent way, but you know what they say, within the dark must come to the light. So with that being said, bro, we gonna get into this, bro. Willie D Live. What's up, family? Chicago rapper Lil Durk has been arrested in South Florida and charged with murder. The 32-year-old rapper, whose real name is Dirk Banks, who was injured on stage at Lollapalooza in 2022 and also won a Grammy in February, has ties to the OTF Collective, Only the Family, and is currently being held in Broward County Jail with a mugshot being released. Lil Dirk, who was injured on stage at Lollapalooza, All right, y'all, my bad. My dog acting like they ain't got no common sense back there barking like a mug. A loser in 2022 and also won a Grammy in February has ties to the OTF Collective, also known as Only the Family, and is currently being held in Broward County Jail with the mugshot being released. Lil Dirk arrest is reportedly in conjunction with an extensive federal investigation around a murder conspiracy. He is now awaiting transfer of custody to the U.S. Marshals. His arrest has coincided with the arrest of five other men, Kavon London Grant, DeAndre Dontrell Wilson, Keith Jones, David Brian Lindsay, and Asa Houston, all of who are linked to OTF and were indicted by California federal prosecutors on Thursday. Those indicted are facing charges of conspiracy to commit murder for hire, committing murder for hire resulting in death, as well as the use of carry and discharge of firearms and a machine gun in the furtherance. I'm going to be honest with y'all. Um, y'all know how there's always a, a lot of fake news, right? So last night I got off my stream and got into bed like I'm gonna go to sleep type shit right and um I get on Twitter and um to me this is the only time I believe something if Say Cheese don't post it I don't believe it so if Say Cheese posted I believed it so seeing last night Say Cheese post the mugshot I'm like ain't no way nigga just got the key to the city he been on his Muslim shit trying to push pot. Trying to push P for positive. I'm a, I'm a zooming. Of a crime of violence resulting in death. Let me tell you something, family. Karma has a memory like an elephant. And it knows things that most people may not know. Like, where you live at? Where you're hiding at? Who did that with you? Yeah, fam. This murder for hire plot was allegedly set up to target Georgia-based rapper Quando Rondo, this in retaliation for his suspected involvement with the death of rapper King Von, who was shot outside of an Atlanta hookah bar in 2020. 
It's worth noting that King Von is the cousin of Lil Dirk. Rondo and his friend Lil Pav were the victims of a fatal shooting at a Los Angeles gas station in August 2022, which claimed the life of Lil Pav. And that's where karma comes to collect. I want all my youngsters to come in a little closer. Come on in, man. Come on in. I got something really, really heavy to tell you. The authorities don't care nothing about the people you're killing unless you kill one of them or theirs. They care nothing about Quando Rondo. They care nothing about Lil Dirt. They care nothing about Lil Pab. They care nothing about King Von. They care nothing about all of the people affiliated with them or their family members. What they care about is black bodies and they want those bodies warm or cold. They'll take it anyway. Whether you're in prison. Like, um, like back, like, like back in the days when they used to say shit, dead or alive. In for a gang of years and get you to do some free labor, you know, work for like 18 cents an hour. I about to say, I thought it was like the 10 next 30, an hour. 50 years. Or if they can get you in a body bag, whether they put you in a body bag or whether one of your friends put you in a body bag or a family member puts you in a body bag, they want your body warm or cold. Your choice. Let me tell you something, fam. In a few years, we're going to all be listening to country music because there ain't going to be no rappers left. Yo, straight up. I literally like well I didn't say that, but when I was doing um when I was doing the reaction to uh Gorilla, you feel me? And I was like, damn bro, I feel like we don't got that much male artists anymore, bro. I feel like right now the only people that's popping in the music industry is the females, you feel me? Like like everybody getting hit with a goddamn Rico. Like like let's just think about how many like let's be honest, bro. Let's think about how many like artists we lost throughout the year, throughout the month. You feel me? Like, we can name a couple. I know, like, come on, bro. We got Young Thug still in the goddamn uh, trial case. We got Lucci still locked up. <clears throat> um, Shit, King Vaughn, uh, rest in peace. You feel me? Uh, I'm going to still say this. Mo3, rest in peace. Uh, who else? Um, uh, BMP Rock, if I'm not mistaken. If I say his name wrong, forgive me. Um, Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Uh, shit, y'all know the list goes on and on, bro. Like, all these artists that came out to make us a big fan of uh, of their music, bro, it's like, we're not getting those music no more, bro. It's like the new music wave now is female, bro. Like, dead ass. We just lost fucking um, R.I.P. to um, uh, Rich Homie. Like, no one ever seen that shit coming, you feel me? So it's like, damn, bro. Like, there's something going on that we don't know about, bro. Like... This shit crazy, bro. Like, and like, buddy, say, sooner or later, we probably gonna be listening to country song. You feel me? Like, we ain't got, we ain't gonna have no choice because the king. It seems like once these rappers get a little money, nigga, they they turn into mob balls. They turn into all these shit. So it's like, bro, what music are we gonna have to listen, bro? And I know a lot of you guys sit out. I know a lot of you people probably still sit here to the day listen to a whole bunch of old song because why? Your new, your your favorite artist either probably dead or or probably either dead or locked up. So. They ain't making no new music, you feel me? So, he do got a point, man. It's like, sooner or later, we will be listening to goddamn, maybe even gospel shit. That's gonna be it. Right now, before you do something that you can't take back, go ahead and get it straight, man. Go on, work it out. You know, patch it up with whoever you gotta patch it up with. All this walking around trying to be a tough guy and doing murder for highs and <laughs> y'all watching too much TV, man. You're going to get caught. You're going to get caught. Are you out here living it up and having fun? And, you know, you at the game and you at the party, all in the videos, just living it up, blowing weed and smoking your cigars and riding in your big car. The feds is working on the case. The entire time. They waited two whole years to come get man. They got the time, they got the exact time of these murders. 
That's how tough they are with it. They got the exact time. To when that when that incident had happened to um, I don't even know the I don't even know the kid's name that got shot. Uh, Quando Rondo, um, cousin or partner. You feel me? Everybody speculated it was the L.A. people. It was one of them. It was one of them crypt. It was one of like it was somebody. You feel me? Because at the time, I guess Quando talking about he was gonna throw his flag down. So everybody was thinking like, oh. You know what? Hmm. Makes sense. If it happens in LA, everybody gonna think of the game politic type shit. They're gonna think of the LA shit, bro. No one is gonna suspect this. Damn. The trigger was pulled. The US Marshals are coming to get him. That means he has no bond. That means it's federal. That means we're looking at yet again another Rico charge. When people look back on this era of hip hop, sadly, it is going to be like a movie. It is going to be a horror movie. It's not going to even make it to drama. This is going to skip right over drama. This is going to be one of the biggest horror movies ever. We're talking about so many bodies scattered about. Body after body after body. Dead or in prison for a long time. And we're talking about people who have attained some level of success. Many of these guys, they already got it. They can switch it up and go and take care of their business and you know build. That's where the action at the action is in building, not destroying. See, that's how I look at it. Man, y'all let me know what y'all think about this situation. Do y'all feel like Lil Durk is cooked? Like, medium rare cooked type shit? Or do y'all feel like he gonna beat this one, bro? But, um, y'all let me know down below. And hit that like, hit that comment. And, um, shit, follow your boy on Twitch. One.